<laughs> no, I have to leave this guy to introduce me and the guest. <laughs> please, please. Uh, Elosa, please do the honors. Uh, all you right, have to man. introduce me and the guest. <laughs> I'm styled by the guest, so introduce yeah. the guest and introduce the, the, the style. <laughs> that is me, by the, the stylist way. and the stylist. No, I'll just I'll just make it as simple as possible. We have a stylist and, and the, the stylist. Style. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <Hey. laughs> that sounds like that sounds like Stanley and Stanlist. <laughs> okay, we have Shagun suits in the house. Okay. Great guy. I mean, only just for this gesture alone. He's a he's a ah, ah you're <laughs> smart. You're loyal. You're just too much. It's, it's great to have you in the house. Thanks. Wow. It's good. I Thanks. did you I don't know how do you do this? It's so as it's 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 looking like it's it's bespoke, like it's just meant for me. Of course, it's a bespoke. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about your art. Let's talk about what you do. We'll start from bespoke suits. Okay. How's it been? How, what because you know then we go um to maybe the market or to uh, say the boutique or something to just yeah. pick up a size forty eight or fifty. But I I personally, if I go for a forty eight, it fits my body, but then the hands are yeah. too short. Okay. Understand? So how has it been? Uh, the the tradition of bespoke. You know, in Nigeria, how has it been so far? Are people embracing it more, or do people still just go and pick up something off the shelf? Actually, um, we the designers in Nigeria, we've um, tried as much as possible to to upgrade to our standard, to upgrade in every ramification of what we do. And um, the reason why we play more bespoke nowadays is because um, of the singular issue you just raised right now. That you walk into a boutique, um, you get a size 48 suit. And probably you have, probably your um, your sleeve is um, drop eight, because we have um, um, different um, size of they call it drop, drop okay. six, drop eight, and there about so drop. I think drop eight should be the longest. Okay. Yeah, for for a guy drop that has eight. drop eight. Okay, that means I can have a forty-eight body, and I you have different drops. Yes. Wow. But the average drops we have is drop six, which is um for an average guy. Every you know, like I said, a, 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 a bespoke. Is it's something we have to invest our time, our money, our resources into to be able to learn it and give our valued customer the best. Okay, because right now, um, for example, now, if you walk into a, a store and you get your size 48 suit, one thing I do tell my client is they don't have you in mind. It's not special, it's not for you, it's a mass produced mass produce. suit. So, I don't see how you feel special when you're wearing something that even the, the designer or the creator doesn't have you in mind. It's not tailored. It's not tailored for you. It's, 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 not, it's not a bespoke. Bespoke is so into your specification, so, so into your body frame, your taste. Like now, if I'm making a blazer for you, tell me, okay, Shango, I want 16 pockets on it. You know what I'm saying? You're paying for your money. I'm going to charge you. Okay, this is. <laughs> I, I, I'm wondering now. You didn't. You never took his measurement. Okay. Or you, know, you never actually sat down to discuss with him. You just popped this up this morning. Yeah. And it's fitting him so. Much. It was just it was just a coincidence that he is is um like um, I think we have the same body frame, mm. and um, this is tailored to a size 48 mm. okay. individual, and I wear a size 48, and um, I think he he is um, drop is um, I think he should be drop eight. So he was just lucky that, you know. But, but how's the suit market going for you? Because I know in this part of the world, we, we talk a lot about, oh, our own attire, our personal, our own kind of, you know, Akara and Native and all. Okay. Do you guys, okay, first first off, do you guys do uh, make suits out of um, Ankara material? Yeah, I started from um, African fabrics. I started oh. from making uh, what we call the um, Uba Shukuto, uh, Agbada, mm. you know, uh, Danshiki and all that mm -hmm. in um, Nigeria. You know, that's our own traditional ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, but as time goes on, I was faced with a challenge. I had a, a wedding to start, and um, the, the groom gave me the opportunity to start him in his traditional attire. 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 Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, if I'm starting <laughs> this guy in his traditional attire, why can't I do the complete stuff, you know, just to do the suit yeah. and everything? That was where I got the, the, the vision from. Oh. Oh, you know, okay. okay, why can't I have a complete package? Like, okay, wedding comes up and I styled Every, the guy, everything. everything. Okay, you know? there's something I'd like to ask you. Um, I know that one of our basic challenges in Nigeria is basically that um, we don't have the authentic fabric designers. They may exist, okay. but they're not as popular okay. as you guys. And I haven't spoken to a few fashion designers. They're like, look, we're faced with the challenge of materials. I was, okay. I was at a wedding on Saturday and someone was asking someone to imitate 
other designs that you can get the materials and the person was trying to educate the person that look okay. these materials might be might look like it but they are okay. not really it so how do you guys manage how do you work, one thing about fashion one it? thing about this industry again is um, quality control yeah you must be able to to identify inferior um fabric and a good fabric mm. okay it's that's why we need educated people in mm. the business okay mm -hmm. that's where we can take it from where it is now to the next level okay mm. so quality control is paramount in fashion designing because you must be able to identify which fabric is real which fabric is rich which fabric is authentic and that's where the bespoke comes in if i'm going to have a bespoke if i'm going to make a bespoke for you i need to be able to 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 understand your kind of person mm. your standard your taste and what you want it, it, it's, it goes beyond me taking my tape you know measuring you and um, going 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 to the uh, the the studio to craft something up no i'm going to study you it's a little bit of psychology is into mm -hmm. fashion wow. i'm going to look at you and look at your temperament look at how i can relate with you and look at how what i'll be making would suit you mm. because mm. so many customers in code they don't know they don't know what they want, what they want. Whoa. Yes. Mm. Exactly. Daddy, okay. I, I want a bespoke but really they don't know what they, don't know what they bespoke want is. yeah okay so let's let's now go into styling okay now i'm i'm with um this is um a striped on on the jacket and all mm. that. now people I've heard about this, or I practice it a lot at, at times. We're talking about shirts, I see some people wear striped shirts mm -hmm. and stripe. maybe stripe jacket. Is this styling now? Let's okay. look at styling. Okay. What is the rule when it comes to ties, shirts, and jackets? Mm -hmm. um, first What's of all, rule? first of all, the rule of fashion is um, comfort. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, well, visual. Well, okay. I like at, that first answer. Okay, I like it. It's comfort. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at um, visual. You know what you see. To the eyes, yeah. people say um, you, if you're going to use a, a tie that has more than one color, a striped tie, then it should be on a plain shirt yeah. and then on a, maybe a striped um, blazer or something. Yeah. And then if you're going to wear a plain blazer, that's when you can wear a striped shirt and all that. Does that rule really, really I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Who created the rules? Mm. Rules are meant to be broken. Mm. That's it. True. That's what I'm saying. True. So fashion is all about. Ah, true, I true, like true. you. True. Very, very good. So, <laughs> very good. so fashion is all about you breaking the rules. And um, you try to trying to make yourself comfortable, mm. okay? Because um, there was a time there's there, we have this era of um, color blocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But sorry, color yeah. blocking now. Yeah. Well, color blocking is something I found very amazing. Yeah. But it's as if color blocking is now sublime. We still mixed colors, but so everything sublime. in life there's time and there's season. And season. Mm. Okay. Right. So the season for color blocking is going gradually, gradually. and we're in the season for maintaining order in mm -hmm. fashion. Everybody you see a gentleman, you know, wearing his um, blazers, nice um, shoes not, and stuff. Like you know, I said, why I said color blocking is fading off because it's not, it's not gone, but it's just going gradually. Now we can combine our socks with our tie, color mm. block. For, like you're doing here yes, now. Yes, yes. Wow. It's, it's, it's a new like trend, combining for, socks. You know, for executive, that, for, 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 for that guy that is in the office that, and he wants to look, Dapper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you you're not restricted to wearing your uh, black sauce, uh, you know, normal tie. You can yeah. you can be funky. You can be adventurous. At the same time, you can be. Uh, how do I put it now? You can be. Still, still be corporate. That has a word. Yeah. Yeah, you can be corporate. You can be corporate. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about um, um, Shagun suits. What is your unique selling point? What differentiates you from every other um, professional there who makes suits out there? Yeah. I think my unique selling point is me mm. as an individual. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't only style people. I relate with people. Whoa. I, huh. I, 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 I move closer to them. Okay, I styled a wedding over the weekend, Saturday. You know, and... Um, by, by the way, it seems this business is really profitable. I, I do to <laughs> Now, I used to think I'm, 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 I'm the only one who apprentice. likes money. Apprentice to come and watch it. You see. Okay, let's go back. You're talking about the wedding. Yeah, I, I started wedding over the weekend and um, my job stopped immediately when, you know, the guy stepped out of his hotel room to his car and to church. Mm. The job of his stylist stopped there. Mm. But I took it extra and I went to church uh, from church. I went to the, to the reception. Not because of anything, but just to see the guy happy. Because I love when I style you. I want to see your expression throughout the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would, that would enable me to, to, to 
either work on the job I did for you mm. or to, you know, if there, if there are lapses. I, and also, I want to move closer so that when people are giving their comments, comments I want yes. to know, okay, oh, you, 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 didn't, yeah. you didn't start okay. this guy, right? So, you know what I'm saying? So, it goes beyond. So, it's, it's more like mm. you're, you're looking out for, first of all, client satisfaction. Yes. Then you're looking for potential client's which satisfaction. Is, which is important. So, you're already building satisfaction even without being patronized. I'm, of course. I'm, well. I'm going to, I'm, I'm looking at the education side. Okay. Um, these days, it's very hard to... Fashion is, is, is a big industry now. Okay. But it's still pretty hard to convince a lot of parents to allow their kids to do fashion. Yeah, we just you know, it's, 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 it's very possible. hard. So yeah. I, I'm thinking, how would you convince... Uh, if, you had, if you had a kid who maybe you work with, who drew okay. designs and all that, how okay. would you convince his parents to allow him study fashion as, yeah. as a career, as a, like... Yeah, first of, all, first of all, you need to go to school. I studied mechanical engineering in school. Okay. Wow. Yeah. First of all, you need to go to school because that's where the, uh, the, the old thing boys answer. Yeah, but, but that's my point. You, yeah. you studied mechanical engineering, yeah. but that's not what you're doing. Yeah. Fashion. So how do you, how but, but, but does a child study like fashion. study? Yeah, that's my point. Yeah. Yeah. Study fashion. Mm. Study from yeah. like the Scratch, roots. Like, yeah. Of course, you know, we are in Africa. Okay. Parents, they want you to be a doctor. They want you to be an engineer. Uh, <laughs> and you can only have a say when you're 18 or they're about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So for you not to have issue with your parents while growing up, mm. you know what I'm saying? If your parent can see it, mm. that, okay, this is what... God has um, deposited in this child, then, you know, let them go for fashion really? training. Oh, so they can check oh, it from... I'm so, I'm so, so, okay. so you know, time is never our friend <laughs> yeah. of this kind of... Man, there's so much to talk about. Yeah. Okay, but then let's, um, how do people get in contact with you? How do they get to be styled by you? Social media, phone number, whatever, how do they get in contact Yeah, on Instagram, um, shagun.suitfit. Okay. Uh, sure. On Facebook, Oluwa Shagun Suitfit, Ezekiel. Okay. Uh, and um, I don't know if I can... Give, uh, you, no, no, no. Do what, what give. Okay. And they can also give. reach me on um, 080-322-1515. Slowly? 080-322-1515. Okay. Okay. Great, great. Okay, let me round up with this. On the average, an okay. average suit, how much do you make? Uh, it depends on the customer. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll talk about that. All right. So we have share good suits in the house. I cannot do it. And we have to stand and round up this show. Yes, most definitely. Why not? I, I, I can't say that. I just take this down. He's looking so big. Else. Oh, we've, had, we've, had, we've had men in black. Yeah, man. So let's just say we have them. Oh, boy. Men in suits. Jeez, I feel so cool, man. Like this show, you know. And why did you come at the beginning? And we shall start this show like this. Oh, man. Okay. It's been the breakfast show. Yeah, we've had share suits in the house. Yeah. Wonderful designer. It looks so good on me. I recommend him to you. Go yeah. get a bespoke suit Thanks. by him. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, please do. All right. <laughs> we recommend. We recommend. Thanks. All right. So a big shout out to my guys. You know, with the flow and of course the peace of my thank you very much for being part of this. Thank you too. We will see you on tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Bless you. Peace out. Yeah. yeah. Ah, man, I like this. I like this. I look good. Don't I? Yeah, it fits you, man. <laughs> <like, really. laughs>